Hi everybody and welcome to Chelsea Groton Bank's Facebook video. Today we are talking about debt to income ratio and we're going to explain a little bit why it's important that you know what it is and what it means for you and being able to get credit for things. So basically, your debt to income ratio is a monthly look at how much your gross income is divided by how much you owe every month in debt payments. So it compares an individual's debt payment to the, their monthly gross income. So um, you're going to add up all your bills, how much you're paying every month towards your debts, um, credit card payments, uh, loans, um, uh, medical bills, things like that. Um, and then you are going to divide that by how much you gross. So that's pre-tax um, in your income. So 43% is like the highest level that any lender would ever approve um, to get a mortgage. Most lenders are looking for 36% or less. So um, I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to look at our debt to income ratio calculator on our Chelsea University. Um, so let's get started and um, you, can, you have to um, create an account to log in to be able to use this. Um, and um, so it, all it's going to ask for is an email address and a password and that's just so that um, it saves the information for you so that you can log in again and again and it will save this info for you. All right, so what's our annual salary pre-tax? So if you want to know why they're asking that, um, because it's going to help calculate your potential savings over time, okay? It's not because they're going to store that information and share it with anybody. So what's our annual salary pre-tax? So let's say it's $45,000 pre-tax, okay? Um, do you want to include income from your spouse or partner? So if you have a joint um, household, um, so if you're married, um, or if, if you're engaged and living together, or if you're going to consider somebody else to um, get a mortgage or something like that, you would say yes. If you don't want to include um, somebody else, if you're just looking at yourself, you would say no. So let's say no. Okay. Do you have any additional sources of income? So in addition to your annual salary. So this would be, are you getting child support? Do you have... Um, a secondary part-time job? Um, do you receive social security benefits for some reason? Um, do you have, you know, whatever it might be, a child alimony? I'm gonna say no. Do you have any current outstanding loans or unpaid debt? So this would be, do you have any credit cards? Um, do you have any um, auto loans that you're paying back? Do you have any medical debt? So let's say yes, we do. All right, what liabilities do I have? So let's say that I'm going for a mortgage, so I don't currently have one, right? So um, let's get rid of that. Um, let's say I do have a car loan and some credit card debt. Okay, so what are my car or boat payments? So let's say it's $250 um, every month. And our, my credit card payments, um, let's say I have a couple of them, and overall it's um, another $175. Okay. Can I manage my debt load? So um, my annual income, if you look over here, I'll scroll back up. My annual income is $45,000. My monthly debts mortgage payments nothing, car or boat payments 250, student loans is zero, credit card payments is 175, and um, other monthly debts is nothing. So my debt to income ratio is 11%. So it's looking good. So um, it's going to combine everything. Um, less than 36% is desirable, 43% is usually required to be able to approve, and anything higher than 50% is viewed by most lenders to be really problematic, okay? So um, if I wanted to go back, let's start over. 
say I made the same $45,000, say I wanted to include my spouse, um, and he makes an additional $55,000, okay? Um, no, I don't have any other social, any other income. Do I have any outstanding loans or debt? Yes. Okay, so um, still looking to get a mortgage. I don't currently have one. Do I have any student loans? Yes, my husband has some. Do I have um, credit card debt? Yes. Do I have other debts and liabilities? Yes, let's say I had some medical debt. All right, so my car payment is this. My student loan payment is $250, $275 every month. And um, other monthly debt, let's say um, I am paying $66 every month to um, the um, hospital for some past medical debts that I do. Let's bump this car payment up to $550 because um, we're uh, now considering both of us. And um, our credit card payments will be $350 because now we're again considering both of us. All right, so now it changes over here. My debt to income ratio is 14%. So that's looking pretty good. So this calculator on our Chelsea University will help you think through um, money that you owe, money that you've got coming in, and kind of see where your debt to income ratio is. Um, then you can look to see um, where what might be problematic and if you need to pay some things down before you go out and apply for that mortgage. So be thinking through this. Um, you can find our um, debt to income ratio calculator at uh, chelseagrotten.enrich.org. Um, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.